Hello guys, so this is my second video on things that you should know about Discord and today I'm just going to go over three simple things that you should know about Discord um, just three things in general that you should be aware of, how to use and things that you should know so let's go to our Discord app and the first thing that I want to talk about is your audio so if you go down to the bottom left and you go to user settings and you click on voice and video you're gonna see that this voice settings pop in so first thing you want to see is your input device so again how you want people to hear you you input volume so if people are telling you that you're too loud or anything like that you can always lower it or if people are telling you that you're too hard to hear then you could increase it same with your output device again this is where you hear audio coming from and if you feel like people are too hard to hear you put it up as you guys can see I have it on 155 percent if people are too loud you can always lower it so pretty simple then your mic test mic test if you're switching from let's say your uh, laptop or whatever audio into like your headphones or whatever and you want to check that people can hear you you can always do a mic test then your input mode so your input mode basically is just how people are gonna hear you there's voice activity which just means whenever I talk people hear me or push to talk which requires a key bind or basically just a key that you need to press so that people can hear you while that key is being pressed. I always like to keep it on voice activity and keeping myself muted so that uh, there's no any weird awkward conversation that somebody hears because I forgot to leave a chat which is something that we're going to talk about later on but last thing that I want to talk about is your video settings so again uh, which camera you want people to see you with you can also test the video to see if the quality is up to your standards and the last thing that I really want to talk about is noise suppression so if you guys live in a very noisy environment let's say you have your brother sister whatever you have a party in the background you might want to turn on noise suppression um, it makes your audio sound a little bit weird but it does catch most of the things that are happening in the background so that's one thing other thing that I wanted to talk about in complement to that is right here on the bottom you can see that you can unmute yourself or mute yourself and deafen yourself which means you can't hear anyone and nobody will hear you this is very important because if you go to our HPL student services or any server really and you join right simply because you're here and you leave the server you're still connected so if anything is happening people will hear what's happening and it's, it can get really awkward so I always like to keep myself muted or if you're using push to talk just don't push the button and always remember to disconnect uh, another thing that I want to talk about is just testing out emotes and things like that so Discord has a few integrated emotes that I, I feel like you guys should know uh, or emotes or commands whatever you want to call them and the first one is uh, backward slash shrug so this is pretty much simple it's just you know I mean who doesn't know what this is right then there's flip oh wait table flip sorry which is just basically when you're angry or unflip which by the way um, when you're typing them you can just double tap enter and it'll fill it up for you and basically this is these two are hilarious because if you're mad and you hit them with the table flip and then they're like calm down and they hit you with the unflip I die every time that happens so I feel like that's very important there's also one that isn't really used that much but you can use backward backslash uh, me and then basically it'll just um, italics your text I think that's what it's called so it'll do that nothing too crazy um, another one that I talk about that I want to talk about is if you put asterisk lol asterisk you see you get the italics if you do double asterisk lol double asterisk you get the bold and if you do this weird thing and you do that again you get the line in the middle so do remember that's a thing also something that you can do which is my favorite thing is you can do backslash giphy oops giphy and then you can type whatever you want and it'll search for a gif as you guys can see it tells you in the in the bottom what it does so for example if I look for a red panda because red pandas are adorable I can find a gif of a red panda click it and it'll actually send it to the discord this is 2025 like it's just amazing I love it so do know that there are these options 
last thing I want to talk about is appearance. So if you go to our user settings again, you go to appearance, there's theme, dark or light. First of all, if you use light, I will find you. Please keep it on dark. It makes Discord just look a lot better. Also, message display, I would recommend you to keep it cozy. So as you can see, the way this looks with your whole character and your username, I think it looks better. Whereas if you use this compact, this reminds me of like a Zoom meeting. Like I don't want to be in a Zoom meeting when I'm talking to people on Discord, right? So keep it cozy. This just looks a lot better um, overall. And also, if you have any sort of... Um, visual aid that you need you know you can bump up your your um your scaling so for example as you guys can see here the way this looks and i can bump it up all the way to 24 so if it's easier for you that way you could do that um you know this is what's comfortable for me but do know that you can change these as well um depending on your preferences so that would be all for today uh hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys liked the video